Hey guys, my name is Darius and I'm here to help you write music. So to write music, I use a digital sheet writing software called MuseScore. MuseScore is an online platform where you can post all of your music for other people to give feedback on, which is what separates it from other programs like Finale or Sibelius. The second thing that separates it is that MuseScore is absolutely free and is available for all devices, Mac, Linux, or Windows. If you aren't familiar with the basic mechanics of MuseScore, please check out these videos that I'm linking down in the description so you can get a better idea of what you need to know before you start writing. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys what tools I use to enhance my pieces. So when you first open up MuseScore, it's going to look something like this. You're going to have a title at the top, composer on the top right, where you can basically just write your name. And then we're going to call this um, My Piece One. And basically what we can do now is we can just go ahead and input our notes that we want to write. So if I wanted to write a C major scale, for example, I could write it as C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C on my keyboard. As well, you can also input notes manually with your mouse on this ledger line here. What's really cool about MuseScore is it's really versatile. So if you wanted to input notes with your mouse, you can. You can also type with your keyboard. And if you want to change the value of notes, they're all right here. You can click on them or you can switch them with your numbers on your keypad. So I can switch it to five, that's a quarter note. Four is an eighth note. If I wanted to switch this one to like an eighth note right here, I could like that. Um, and if you really have no idea what and how I'm doing this, please make sure you check out the videos I linked in the description by the official MuseScore YouTube channel. Now let's get into some really important parts of MuseScore. First off, one thing I use literally all the time is the palettes. You can access the palettes from the view tab. There's a palettes here where you can get it expanded on the left-hand side of your screen, or you can get the master palette which basically is just another window that opens up for you and you can see it. It looks something like this and you get all these different palettes all in one place. I generally like to go with this palette because it's on the side and it's always available to me, but if you prefer the master palette, please go ahead and use that instead. Another really important thing to use is the play panel. Sometimes when your music is too soft, you want it to uh, be a bit louder. You want to hear what you're playing. So you can always change the master volume or you can change the tempo, which is the speed or the metronome volume, which is just how loud your metronome is playing alongside it. And you can turn on that metronome with this button right here. So another really cool feature is the mixer. The mixer allows you to change the sound font, and I'll explain what this is later, but it allows you to change the sound font of whatever instrument you have. So for example, for piano, we already established that this is the sound it makes. If I were to play this from the beginning, my C major scale, it sound like... But if I wanted to change that, if I wanted to really make that sound more like an organ, I could look for organ, for example, like this one's a draw bar organ, and I'll click on that for my piano, and now it says the sound is a drum, uh, draw bar organ. And now if I wanted to hear what that sounds like as a draw bar organ, I just have to go back here and play it again. So you can really experiment with these sound fonts. I can even, if I wanted, make it a xylophone or literally any instrument. So to test out this new feature I'm going to show you guys, you have to create a new piece. So I do this through File, New, and it brings up this whole menu you can fill out. So the new uh, section is going to be the Add. You can do this through adding. Um, I specifically add measures a lot. I also add text sometimes. Or if you want to add some lines, like the crescendos or decrescendos, you can do it through this. You can also do uh, decrescendos and crescendos through the palettes if you go to the Lines category right here. Anyway, so you can add measures like this. You can insert a measure to where you currently are, or you can append measures. Like if you want to add three or four measures, you can add that through here. And now you can see that my piece has gone from being um, 32 measures long to 35. I can add some more. I can add maybe one more and make it 36. So if I ever need more measures to write with, I always do this. Thank you so much for coming to the end of this first instructional video out of seven. I hope you learned something today. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment them in the comment section down below or send me an email privately at dariusmusiccompany at gmail.com. I'm confident that after watching these videos, you'll be able to produce great music.